Hey everybody, I wanted to take a little bit of time today to wish you a very happy Memorial Day weekend. I wanted to issue a little challenge as well, a challenge that I think will be a lot of fun and will actually shed a little bit more meaning on Memorial Day. I know for so long what I did when it would come to things like Memorial Day and Veterans Day and things where that, that kind of require a little bit of a memory, they kind of re require a little bit of introspection about what we're actually celebrating, what we're actually remembering. I always used to give it a little passing glance, I'd remember momentarily, but then I'd move on with the rest of my day. Up until a couple years ago, what we started doing is we started doing Murph, which is a workout that's dedicated to Michael Murphy. He was a Navy SEAL who lost his life in combat. And what this workout is, it's a very long, grueling workout. You run a mile, you do 100 pull-ups, you do 200 push-ups, you do 300 air squats, and then you run another mile. It takes most people about 45 minutes to even over an hour. So the whole time you're thinking about Michael Murphy, you're thinking about those who have served, those who have given their lives, and it's it's a chance for us to push ourselves and a little bit of suffering, even though it can't compare to the, the sacrifice that our men and women that, that have given everything ha have actually sacrificed. So the challenge that I want to offer to you guys, not everybody has the means to do a full MRF, to do all that equipment, and I wouldn't recommend it for everybody as well. But what I'm going to challenge you guys to today is on Memorial Day tomorrow, I hope, I hope this video gets out to you guys on Sunday. Hope you're getting it on Sunday. But tomorrow, what I would challenge you guys to do is come up with some version of a Memorial Day workout. And it doesn't need to be a, a big long workout like the Murph challenge. It can be 10 to 20 minutes. But what I would challenge you to do is come up with a date Come up with a date for either somebody that you're close to, a family member who either lost their lives or maybe even their birthday. Somebody that's meaningful to you who, who served, who gave their life, and take that date. Let's just say it's September 11th, fill in the date. September 11th, 9-11, let's say 2001. Do nine push-ups, do 11 lunges, and then do 201 meters of, of a run or something like this. Something to that or... or, or take the number and then turn it into some kind of workout. If you need help doing that, you shoot me a message. I'd be more than happy to help put a workout together for you. But it's a meaningful way for us to really remember what this is all about. And it's also a way for us to change our bodies physiologically. And that really uh, connects you to something emotionally when you do it in remembrance of somebody. One of my favorite things that we do is a 2001 workout, a, a September 11th, 2001 workout. And one of my favorite parts of this, and it's one of the most emotional things that I see in fitness is at the very end of the workout we do a 2,977 meter row which if you know the row machine it's pulling we do row 2,977 meters and the whole time you're doing this it takes about six to seven minutes you're seeing those meters tick down and what those meters represents are the total amount of lives lost on that day so it's a very emotional thing that helps you remember the sacrifices what, what we went through Another one that we do is we do the Granite Mountain Hot Shots workout and the 19 firefighters who lost their lives. Part of that workout includes 19 power cleans and you just think every single time you pick up that bar, that's one life. So it connects us to something emotionally and helps us remember something that's far more important than, than just ourselves. So I'm going to issue this challenge to you. What I want you to do is I want you to put what you did in the comments. So you, you shoot me a message, you put it in the comments, you share it, you can share this video, challenge others to do the same thing, and put the date and what it means and the person that you're memorializing with that workout. If you need help, like I said, putting that together, I'd be more than happy and more than happy to do that. Another thing, finally, that I love about doing this is it takes so many people from different areas of life, different walks of life, different backgrounds, but it helps us focus on the one thing we're all Americans. We all have, we all share this freedom, we all share this country, and it's just something on this day that we can do anything that, that, that brings us together as one, as one country, as one person, people that can memorialize just the sacrifices that went into the way that we're able to live every single day. I love you guys. I hope um, you take me up on this challenge. I look forward to seeing some of the dates, some of the things that you guys do, some of the workouts that you guys put together. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of your weekend.